The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, Jesus came to his own country, and his disciples followed him. And on the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get all this? What, what is the wisdom given to him? What mighty works are wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, brother of James and Joses, and Judas and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. And he could not do mighty works there, except that he laid hands upon a few sick people and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. He went about the villagers teaching. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus was rejected. How do we handle rejection? Here we have Jesus in his own country, he goes back to Nazareth in this sixth chapter of Mark. He goes back to Nazareth and one would feel that he had a need within himself to go back home. He needed the solace of the places he was accustomed to. We probably all know those feelings. And so he goes home expecting acceptance, but his expectations were not met because they were looking at his past, not even his bad past, because he didn't have a bad past, and they couldn't accept how this man had changed and what newness he was bringing. So the goodness and the newness, they could not accept. They wanted to stay where they were. They did not want to change or understand, and they were not even open to be blessed in a new way that they had never been blessed before. They rejected him. I wonder how often we have rejected blessings it's very tempting in the moment during this pandemic to feel that everything is gloom and doom and we forget that God has been through pandemics before. It's our first time. But what blessings are there that we are perhaps missing because of our negativity and our pain? Realistic pain? Yes, these were all real facts about Jesus, but none of them were worthy of not listening to him because they also acknowledged his wisdom and mighty works. What are we not seeing in this pandemic? What blessings are we not seeing because we are so sorrowful and focusing on ourselves? Here was Jesus wanting to give. Here was Jesus going home because he wanted to make sure that those who were in his hometown would also benefit from the glory of God. Don't we all want that? But we don't always receive it at home. Let that not be where we stop our ministry. Jesus went about among the villages teaching. We must not allow people's an acceptance of us for whatever reason to stop us doing the will of God. So today as we live our lives and we might be rejected and people might oppose us or criticize us, well, they might be right. We need to discern that first. We mustn't be too arrogant to think we are perfect. 
But once we have discerned it in the light of God's gospel, let us not judge them harshly, but let us move away so that we can be a blessing to others who need the blessings that God has given us to give to others. Today is also the feast of St. Blaise, and it is the feast of the blessing of throats. It's an ancient tradition, and there's very little known about St. Blaise, but we know that he has the gift of healing throats. So today I would like to end by blessing all our throats. So I ask you, wherever you are, to put your hands on your throats, and I'll pray a blessing. Heavenly Father, we ask that the spirit of St. Blaise would come upon us and bless our throats. We know, Lord, that this coronavirus attacks our throats, and so we ask you, Lord, for that protection on this day from all infections, from all harm to our throats. We ask you, Lord, that those who are battling with swallowing and breathing, that they will be given solace at this moment through our prayers. May they believe, not like those in the gospel today, who saw good works, but the mind that they had refused to believe. Help us to believe today, Lord, even in this time of pandemic. May our throats be healed, and may we give you all the glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.